Hi, welcome back to POD Philippines On Demand. So I'm here in the kitchen and today I decided to cook spaghetti for my wife because she's the one that is always cooking. So a change of pace. Don't get used to this. Uh, my wife is standing behind the camera. Uh, don't get used to this, honey, because this is just a, a once in a lifetime ordeal. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, the first thing that you're going to want to do yes. is you're going to want to wash your hands. Get your of hands wet. Put soapy, get all the areas, and sing happy birthday. Happy I birthday to me. me. <laughs> happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear whoever. <laughs> happy birthday to you and me. You're get between, between the fingers, the tops, the palms. Even up the wrists a little bit uh, because you really don't want Corona in your bologna. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, Filipinos put hot dogs in their spaghetti. Uh, we don't do that in the West. Okay, the, the one thing that really gets me is if I see anybody uh, handling my food uh, with dirty hands, long, dirty fingernails, it really sets me off. But anyway, that's just my pet peeve. So anyway, um, we have already chopped up, diced up some garlic, and there are currently four cloves in here, and we're going to do one more clove here. So what you do, for those of you who are like me and don't know how to cook, you just get yourself a wide uh, base knife, put it crossways, don't cut yourself, press down on it, and it basically will peel your, your garlic. So throw that in the garbage. I always just little rinse under there. And I just go ahead, make my cuts. And you're going to want a sharp knife. Um, that's just common sense. Transfer that in there. This is kind of the end piece. I never keep that. Okay. Now, as far as cutting your onion, this is kind of like the eye of the onion, if you will. So what I do is I, I don't cut to the right or the left of the eye. I cut right through the center. Right straight through the center. And then I take it, and the reason why I cut right straight through the eye, and this is kind of like the membrane that runs through it, if you cut straight through the eye, it'll help hold your onion together. If you cut, if you cut to the left or right of it, then your onion, onion is just going to fall apart. Uh, we already went ahead and peeled the onion. The other thing you can do is take your knife with the eye away from you and be very careful. Cut, cut into it horizontally. Kind of like that. Anyway, what I'm going to want to do is cut it lengthwise. Make some cuts lengthwise. The thickness the thickness in which you make your slice is actually going to be the thickness of your cube. We're cutting this onion into cubes. And notice I'm pressing down and pulling back. I'm not sawing. So I press down and I pull back. Press down, pull back maintaining the, the thickness in which I desire. Okay? So then you turn it sideways and you're going to cut it the opposite way. I'm going to use this. Where's the little... Yeah, there we go. I didn't sharpen this one, but we'll see what it's... Yeah, it's better.
There we go. We got the onion. We got the onion diced up. We got the garlic diced up. Now I'm going to take and we're going to cut up the bell pepper. So again, I cut right straight through the through the center of it. Okay. Then right here, I put cut side down and I cut through the the center of it again so you have your two you have pieces like that. Then I always just take it and just kind of clean that membrane out, cut it out just like that. I always try to cut away from me. If you cut towards yourself, you could slip and stick yourself. So. Sometimes I listen to myself, sometimes I don't. And in this case, see? You got those. You don't have to do this. I, I don't know why I do it. I just kind of rinse it off a little bit. Then the other thing you can do is just kind of slice it right down the center. And right down the membrane. A little bit left there. I'm going to peel that off. Right down the center again. I'm going to peel the rest of that off. And then, I take it, and do I cut squares? No, not me. I cut diagonally. So then I just grab that, I throw it in there. I try to get most of it into the container best I can. Okay, so we got our bell pepper diced. We got our white onion, that's one white onion. And then five clove, cloves of garlic. We use real beef, but we haven't gotten that far. Okay, now we're going to work on the tomatoes. Once again, through the center. Always cut directly through the center of the membrane. Not to the left, not to the right of it right through the center of it. But you can do it how you want. Now you're probably wondering, am I making Filipino style spaghetti or am I making, am I making Western style spaghetti. Well, because I don't have really all of the ingredients to do it the Western way, I think it's safe to say that I'm, I'm doing it kind of partially Filipino way and partially Western way. Kind of like half and half. 
the one the one spaghetti that I grew up with that my grandma and my mother and my sister uh, have always made the spaghetti sauce uh, they used ragu but I cannot find ragu actually I did I take that back I one time found ragu at the NCC mall that burned down they had it there and as I think about it even further when I was shopping with my friend Randy from Canada I came across ragu spaghetti sauce at the Gmon in Bahada. so I really I really love ragu sauce it's what basically we we grew up with and I'm not going to do it, uh, uh, but when my sister makes spaghetti, my grandma and my mother, they always put a lot of sugar in, into the sauce. And it was really good. You get a lot of flavoring that way. Um, but Filipinos don't really, don't really like that. So I'm not going to use, I'm not going to use uh, white sugar. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to use any sugar. And my wife is going to relieve me. So, why is this a little bit more like Western style? Yeah, sure. Put it all in there, Beth. The reason why this is a little bit more like Western style is because I'm using beef and not pork, and I'm not putting hot dogs into the spaghetti. Just beef. Uh, a lot of Filipinos, they like putting uh, hot dogs and using pork. You know why? Why is that, honey? Why? <laughs> oh, she. Why? Why? Why they use that? Because the pork is more cheaper than beef. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. Okay, the the pork is less expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little olive oil to the pan. Okay. Then, I'm going to take the onion, I'm going to put the onions in there, I'm going to want a wood spoon, yeah, thank you, don't, don't grab the pan with your hand, okay, now I'm going to put in the bell pepper, And then now, the garlic. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cook this all the way. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sweat it. I'm just gonna sweat it a little bit. And the reason why I'm not gonna cook it all the way is because it's gonna be added to the sauce and it's going to cook some more so I don't want to I don't want to overcook it during this process so I will use this I don't want to Grab the hand with your, the hot pan with your, I'm going to turn the fire off. So I'm going to put that there. Okay, there we go.
Okay? There's some more of them. So we got... Oh. Okay. So we got that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more and then I'm going to brown the beef. Put a little bit more in. I'm going to brown the beef. So if you're wondering how much beef I'm using, I'm using one, I'm putting in one kilogram. Throw in uh, some salt, and you can also throw in some olive oil. There, while you're boiling your noodles, my wife is gonna, oh, my wife is gonna take over. And then from here, we're going to get the big pan and then we're going to put the sauce in the big pan and start warming the sauce and then we'll start adding the beef and the other ingredients that we diced up virginia spaghetti sauce and it's delicious to the last drip so I get all of that, and of course I have to recycle. Put that in there. Okay. Now. I'm just going to kind of just stir it a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to add the diced onion, garlic, and bell pepper. Put that into the fray. And then stir it around a little bit. You know, I feel like a man witch. Oh, no, not the sandwich spread that they sell in the U.S. It's called man witch. But I mean man witch. You know, W-I-T-C-H. Are you a witch now? Yeah, I'm a witch. I'm a man <laughs> witch. <laughs> You're pretty. So I'm making a potion, magic potion, that ho hopefully everybody who bites into... My spaghetti will fall in love. I already <laughs> fall in love. Really? With the spaghetti. With the, oh, with the spaghetti. Good one. Okay, now, uh, now I will put in the beef. Okay? I put the beef in. Ignore my shaky hand. Just pour it. Everything. There, the beef go in. <laughs> Beefy. So, just stir it about. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. OMG. Okay. Now, I'm going to add the... Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Stir it in. And salt. You want salt? Yes, now I'm going to put in my seasoning. So I'm gonna take some salt and add some salt. Usually people measure it, but Oops. I don't I don't measure. 
I just eyeball. <laughs> then I'm going to take Italian seasoning and then I'll put some of that in. And you're probably wondering, well, how much? Well, some people probably put in like one tablespoon. So I mix that in. Yeah. And black pepper. So my wife will help me and she will put the black pepper. And maybe some thyme. Not T I M E, but this kind of thyme. We'll put Sprinkle. some. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And then little star. This will give a spice. Oh, that'll give it some spice. Yeah. Cayenne. So we put some of that in. A little. Shik, shik, shik. You know, you can really make this up as you go. <laughs> One, two, two three. three. So we mix that all up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put this on simmer and we're going to let it simmer for a while and the reason why we're going to do that is it will actually make the tomato tomato paste or the tomato sauce thicker it'll thicken it up in a slow heat and it's real low heat like a simmer yeah okay so we're going to leave that simmer for a while. And as you can see over here, the spaghetti, the long noodles, regular noodles, are already cooked. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to clean up my work area. And let's take a look at the final product. So do this over there. Oh yeah. That looks really yummy. Let me grab the tongs. Mm. Good. Yeah, I wish I could invite every one of you over for dinner tonight. But I will eat a bite for each of you. Thanks for watching POD, Philippines On Demand. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.